And welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is the Beeble Bum Fugitive Run, Episode 3 of Season 3. So, we've got the new rules, as everybody was aware, and I'm just going to pick right up where I left off. Now, like I said at the end of the last mission, uh, the last uh, episode that I did, I mentioned that I was going to go ahead and get some stuff done as far as the grind is concerned. Um, so, what I went ahead and did, um, you'll notice that... Things are a little changed in here. You notice I have a little bit of, of chromatic metal in here. Not a lot, but I literally did pick up like over 2,000 copper out of that deposit. I also picked up a little bit of salt, so I made some chlorine so I could start doing repairs on stuff in the ship. It doesn't look like it's a lot changed, but I have opened up other segments in here where I could put some stuff in. Um, a lot of these things already have the repairs. I picked up some paraffinium from a deposit. Um, I haven't gotten any uh, pugnium yet. That's going to require some fighting some sentinels and stuff like that, or maybe finding a, uh, uh, you know, one of the sentinel uh, uh, hot spots or something like that. Whatever. I can't think of the name of it right now. So I did get some stuff. I picked up some warp cells. I've charged my hyperdrive, um, made some of that. Um, and then again, a lot of these things are repaired up to a point. So we've got everything pretty much ready to go where I, as I start coming across components I can start repairing the rest of this pretty easily. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to start moving along here. I'm going to get into the ship here. We're going to fly along this moon surface in my system very slowly. I need some things. I need some oxygen and I need other things like that. So I'm going to take it low and slow. Um, we're just going to fly along this landscape. We're going to look for um, buildings we're gonna look and because it is a moon and everything's more compact I should be able to find some good stuff here so we're just gonna take it easy now Beeble Bomb usually goes in this view and he, and he flies slow now this ship is really strange so I'm going to be it's always gonna be hovering over my head rather than right at my head so that's kinda strange here but I can shoot at the ground, I can pick up resources, I do need a lot more ferrite dust, so I may go ahead and do that while I'm at it. See if I can find a dark patch here someplace, like up here, where I can get some rocks, and hopefully everything will come in. But these ships do not fly slow. They take forever for everything to build back in. So, and I'll watch my radar and everything like that, and see if we can pick up a couple of places. This ought to have... There we go. Ferrite dust is what I need. I'll go ahead and do that here real quick because I need a lot of ferrite dust. Yeah, except the ship inventory is going to fill up rather quickly. So let me... There we go. Let's free up some, some stuff. There we go. So I don't fly into anything. Pick up some oxygen while I'm there. Oh yeah, three. That's not bad at all. All right. That should do for now. So while I'm hovering, and I'm not going to call it hovering, I'm going to go ahead and put this into my inventory. I don't think any of those rocks made it into this inventory, but... Yeah, we're really, really full here, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of a little bit of stuff, so... Running out of room pretty quickly here. Okay. Nice. Got a lot more ferrite now, so I can start building more things. All right, so we're going to hover a little bit more here and just start looking. Now, it will be a little bit of noise in the background. Everybody's here right now, and it's just a little bit noisy. The glutziest people in the world, I swear. <laughs> we're trying to let things appear. Uh, 
Uh, let's see, it doesn't seem to be a ship or anything like that. This might be a campground or... Yeah, nothing special, a little shelter. Okay, moving on. I've been seeing ships fly over, for it, so it's not like this place is uninhabited. Yeah, see, there's an archive there, I think. No, that's a big, huge rock is what that is. That's weird. Another shelter. Nothing special. I like to be in this particular view. Things don't build in quickly either, either way. It doesn't really make a difference, so I'm just going to go ahead and stay like this and just see if I can find anything on my radar. I never realized how important it was to do it this way until I started really watching what they were doing. They were finding all kinds of neat things. They'd find some sites that they could pick up some things. The crash ships were unbelievable. These guys... Beeblebum and Jason both kept finding crash ships like crazy. I couldn't figure it out. Another shelter. Now weird. What do you think? Shelter? At least a campsite. Yeah, a little campsite. Okay. Another little campsite. Oh, no, that's a drop pod, actually. See, now, now that might be worth my time. There we go. Okay, so we need... Uh, we need oxygen is what we need. So it's time for me to go look for some oxygen plants. There we go. See if I can get this without the sentinel noticing. Yeah, okay. Condensed carbon, very important. There's some oxygen right in front of me. Right there. It's one of the snappers. There he is. Okay. And every little bit helps. But they do have to blow... Uh... Here. Okay. I could have swore I just recharged that. Unbelievable. Okay. Alright, so we got a little bit more oxygen. So we should be able to make one of those. We should be able to make one of these. And the last thing we need is... More room in my inventory. That's what I need. I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, so we need... Oh yeah, sodium nitrate. Do we have any? No. We'll have to make it when we get back. Oh, look at that. It, there was an archive nearby. Go figure. Okay, so we need... There it is. Really gonna do that to me. All right, there we go. Okay, and we're just going to keep adding on to this. All right, so very good. Moving on, uh, while we're here, I'll do exactly like Beeble Bum does. I'll take a look around, see if there's any buildings nearby. Uh, let's see. Doesn't look like we have anything. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and move on, then. 
And we got plenty of fuel for our thrusters and everything like that, so we're in good shape. So we know we had an archive over there. So we're just going to weave back and forth. Keep an eye on our radar. Yeah, that's funny. Just scanned and this place did not show up. How weird. That one did. Let's see what that is. That's just a campsite. Okay, and a rock that I ran into. That is one of the beacons. Go ahead and take that. Nothing to get some more oxygen, but it'd be great to find an oxygen patch. I should keep my eyes open for that. Let's see what we got in here. So this is gonna be the grind portion. There we go. I'll make one of those while I'm in here. We need more oxygen, of course. We can make one of those. We're going to go ahead and put this down. We'll make some more sodium nitrate. There we go. And let's look for some hazardous plants. Yeah. And what we could do is do that. Just make sure there's no oxygen floating around us. Wow, that's the first time I've ever done that and didn't have anything. Boy, I would really like one of those blow-up ones. I know they're around here. Looks like we got another unknown building over there. I'll go ahead on a real little field trip here. And we'll keep our eyes peeled for oxygen while we're out. Okay, that looks like it is a beacon. Okay, so that's not it. Okay. Another one over here. And look at that, an oxygen patch. Got lucky there. I'd like to have a guy land near me so I can get some rid of some of the stuff I've got. There we go. Looks good. That gave us a lot of oxygen. Nobody landing. Okay, good. Let's go see what this building's all about first. And it is a shelter. Okay. Now, while I'm here... Anyone notice? By the way, I forgot to tell you, while I was at it, I discovered all the flora and fauna. And I'm getting 1,750 nanites for it, so that's going to get me up to 2,500 nanites. Now, I was heading north. It looks like I'm at the North Pole already, so I think it's time to start heading south. Because I'm otherwise I'm going to be flying in circles and I won't even realize it. So we're going to pick a southerly direction and start going that way. Okay. So we should have everything we need. We just need to produce that. Okay. Okay. And another one in there. Let's go ahead and put it over here.
Okay, looks good. We're finally getting someplace around here. Let's move those two around. Move my carbon over. I like things lined up a little bit better, that's all. Sodium is useful to me, so we'll leave you up there. Okay, well, let us go. So we're just going to start, like I said, heading south. Get a little distance. We may come across the same places we've already been at this point. But we were at the North Pole, so this would be kind of ridiculous otherwise. Tilt on our sides. Come slow down. Yep, just a little place there. No ship. It would show up on our radar otherwise. Ignore those. That's just tritium up in the atmosphere. I am going a little quicker here, yes. So this is the part of the grind that you're probably not going to enjoy much. Because of the fact that there's just not much to see going on right now. That's pointing to probably a trading platform, is what my guess is. It's so far away. I'm not really worried about that. I really thought I was a little higher off the ground. Come on now. A little bit of an angry kitty in the background you might pick up on. He's been wanting to go outside for a while, and he's just recently got over being injured, and he's doing much better now. But still keeping him inside for a little longer. He's being tortured because it's spring, and he wants to be outside. Unknown building. Okay, I'll start heading that way. What are you, inside a rock? Nope, you're just a campground. Okay. Kind of surprised. I thought I'd run across some brass ships here. I mean, it is a... Yeah, see? Trading platform, told you. Oh, wait a minute. That might just be a ship on the trading platform. Let me just check. Yes, it is. Okay. And that's probably ships approaching. Yes. But we'll head in the general direction. There's another one over there. Okay. Are we heading south still? Yes, we are. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for those kind of dots, but stationary on the ground, of course. Looks like we got one following us, or yeah, he's heading into the upper atmosphere there now. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I know I'm being a little quiet, but this is just taking a little bit of concentration. So even if this was a live stream, I'd probably be quiet right about now anyway. There's a lot. I'm not even sure how I did that. It's just a lot to pay attention to right now. Of course, the last thing I need is to be attacked by a pirate or something right about now. So we should be well away from where everything was. Hmm. I really thought would have really would have thought it would have found something by now. Besides drop pods and stuff. You know it takes a while for things to build in. I get that, but 
Even crashed ships should show up well before anything else. The only thing I can think of is this thing is like a sailboat. It must have something hanging down underneath. So, another trading platform, so obviously ships are going to be flying in and confusing my radar. Hmm, nope, we don't want to do that. That would just anger the populace. Is that another ship? Yep. It gets confusing because you're not sure what is a crash ship and what's a flying ship when you get close to these things. Already getting into night, huh? Nightfall might be easier to discover things flaming on the ground, so... Why do we want crashed ships? Well, the value of the ships themselves is always handy. Another drop pod. Well, we seem to be doing good at that, so I'm going to go ahead and do that too, because uh, upgrading our exosuit is always a smart idea. Just wish I would find something else. Alright. Oxygen, 178. Okay. And... We need the sodium nitrate. Before we do that... More microprocessors, good. Ammunition. And a Viking effigy. Okay. Oh, right there. Forgot I moved my sodium. Why I keep doing that? That was weird. All right. All right, we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and get our upgrade. I think there we go. Right next door. What I'm going to try to do is I'll fill in these two, and then I'm going to work down here. As I find more. Just want to keep up with the fact that I'm going to use most of that. I wasn't trying to do that. Just trying to get that one last pod on the thing. There we go. Got it. Because that's always worth getting all three pods. Oh, and I got a sentinel in the distance. So hopefully I can take this guy out before he comes. There we go. Okay, good. So that should have given me a good decent amount of oxygen. Yep, crawled over the 200 mark. Fortunately, nothing got damaged, right? Yeah. Okay, good. We're fine. Okay. Uh... Take a look around. Hmm. Uh, we got an unknown building in the distance there I was not aware of. Okay. And another one over there. Alright. We got a subterranean relic. That's not really interested in those. So let me take a quick gander over here. Alright, that is someplace I don't want to be. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about that one. And that one. That is a minor... Yeah, minor trading. Okay. Of course it is. Alright. I guess we'll head back to our ship then. All right. 
It's strange how all these buildings were not showing up on my radar. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and use up the launch fuel so I can open up the area in there. Okay, so we're heading south still. Watch the radar. And weaving around. Really would like to try to find at least one crash ship so I can get some more technology. As we all know, we really that's the one thing that we're gonna have trouble coming across is technology. Ooh. And it's another landing platform. It's amazing how many of those I'm running across. Yep, yeah, ships flying around. Confusing the crap out of my radar. Because they're still moving. Yeah. Some in front of me. See? Unbelievable. Okay, let's just keep going. Shelters. Yeah, I feel like I was well above that. Sorry. Unbelievable. So this is probably not the most exciting of episodes here. Even live, it would have been pretty boring. Again, Memorial Day. Last Monday of May. U.S. Memorial Day. We're going to go live and do a live stream that morning, Eastern Time. Likely with the Fugitive Run now. If things go differently, as I'm starting to suspect we may be coming out with an update real soon, with an expedition, we could trade it off for an expedition. We'll see. Really? I thought it was already done by now. I find it very funny that, again, Beeple Bum, Jason, all those guys can find ship after crash ship after crash ship. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here struggling just to find a building. Yeah, it looks like a campground again. Yep, all the campground. Though I have been pretty fortunate finding drop pods. At least that's something. I've expanded my inventory, so I should be grateful for that at least. Yeah, like I said, these planets are supposed to be more condensed. So you should be able to find more, but it's been proving otherwise for me here. No? Okay. A little further out. Plus, it should be easier to find stuff around here. I am going to try something a little different. I might try an easterly, east to westerly direction if and when I do find a ship. Looks like just a yet another campground. It's amazing how often I can hit rocks on this terrain. Okay, so one over there. Take a look. And slow it down. It looks like another campground. I thought for a second when I saw the flag, I thought it might have been a ship. But my radar was proving otherwise, and I needed to pay closer attention. We're deviated a little bit. There we go. 
Let's keep going. Now this is a moon. So there is a possibility we could circumnavigate it. I ought to watch it. Because the south just flipped around to the north. Okay. Yeah, see that? So we literally have gone one circumference around this planet. At least half of it. So we're going to continue north in this direction. See if we come across something here. Just one crash ship. That's all I'd like to see. We've been doing this for a half hour now. I think people bum found like three crash ships in like five minutes. And another beacon. Now this may be a system that just doesn't have a lot of crash ships. That may be all it is, so. We'll be fortunate to find one. And we may leave the system. There's a possibility we'll just give up and leave the system at the I'll give it a few little bit while longer here. Creepy music, huh? All right, let's see what we got over here. See, now why didn't that show up on my radar scan? Fascinating. Not that I need to land there, but... Another one. I mean, I could get some Pugnium there, but I'm going to start a fight, that's for sure, and I do not have a weapon yet. So that may be something I need to focus on. I don't have a boat caster or anything in my inventory. I think it might be time to look for a dissident system. See? Look at that. Didn't show up. Of course, that's an abandoned one. But that's not really what I'm interested in getting right now. Hmm. I wonder about those freighters that pop in. I'm beginning to wonder whether they don't have anything to do with certain things below. Hey, okay, just scanned. That didn't show up under my scan. I'm really beginning to wonder. Oh, wait a second. I think we might have something here. Like we do have a crash ship. I see a pilot walking around. Let's see if we can get anything from it. Him or it. We may not be able to help him, but maybe there's some technology here or something. Okay, just some nanites there. There we go. More ammunition. Dihydrogen. So we can make another one of those. So we've got some decent stuff out of it so far. I don't know if helping him will get us anything, but I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to... Yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to interact with these guys, so I'm going to hold off interacting with them. Just steal some stuff and move on. It's a shame. Alright. Do have an unknown building in the distance that we can check out. So let's check, see what that's all about. A 
Oh, that's the building we were looking at. Okay, so we don't need to go there. All right. Let's move on. Sorry, my friend. Back to the north. So, that one should disappear from our radar shortly. There we go. And we will look for something else. And again, we may have to leave this system. I think we're going to have to leave it. And if we can find a dissident system, we'll be in better shape. There we can have a little bit of fun. This is a very temperate planet. I don't know if you all noticed that, but... Interesting. An unknown building just popped up without me scanning. And all it is is a beacon. Oh, hate when that happens. You get that little glitch in the sky and you kind of hesitate. All right. So I think we're doing pretty good. Another beacon. I'm not usually used to seeing two beacons in one place. I'm just going to keep running into rocks now. Just mowing the landscape clear of the rocks. Shield should be building back up slowly here in just a minute. Any time now. Come on, guys. Okay, something over here. Little campsite. Okay. Thirty-seven minutes into this, and uh, we're not any richer. That's for sure. On the technology portion of things, anyway. Really? Another campground. Uh, seriously? My wings must be hitting. Okay, I can't even see it. But it's not a crashed ship because it would come up on my radar, so... Let's check out what's over here. Shelters. Okay. Something over there. So we're getting towards nightfall again. Well, I gotta say, I was, uh, I'm a little disappointed myself. That I'm not able to find anything else. Oh, wait a minute. There is a ship right there. Oh, it's flying. Yeah, just a flying ship. Okay. I was hopeful. I mean, a lot of stuff is popping in, but... things lined up back to back here and that is a campsite trading post okay obviously we can't go there and this is a drop pod which we are going to land at and take advantage of give the ship a little bit of a chance to heal there Ah, uh, one of those, huh? 
First of all, let's check it, make sure this isn't one I've been to. Yep, good. Okay. Obviously, we need our carbon. Do that. While we're here, we're going to do that and that. Wow, okay. We're dragging it out, huh? Here we go. Okay. So... I'm going to put it down here. That hole there is bothering me. And then we'll do this one and this one. Okay. Good. Done. Take a look around. Because we may be missing things. Look at that. Unknown building. Unbelievable. Unknown building. Maybe I should be doing most of this stuff from, on foot. Too bad I can't get an exo uh, craft. Alright, let's start over here. Take another look. Maybe we can get up to high enough ground where we can see it. Maybe it'll just just a beacon or something like that. Looked like the other one was nearby. Yeah, right there. Okay. Okay, looks like there's something right here. Ah, uh, trading post. Okay. Monolith. Monolith might be worth worth visiting. I think we'll head over there because we might be able to get some technology from it. Okay, hey, well, it's a couple of trading posts. That's what they were. Weird. Just make sure there's not something else around here. And we can always call our ship in. I did recharge the launch thrusters a little bit ago. Ooh, I love the haze around it. That's great. Good effects. There we go. Always can use a little extra oxygen. Ooh, it's one of those. Okay. Learning a lot of Corvax words on this run. Yep, it's trying to tell me at that too. Of course, it's interrupting you while you're doing your game, but hey, whatever, you know. Okay. Corvax and Traveler, we got a lot of that going on. There's uh, a chance to surround me. I try to wave them away with my multiple, but each time they swarm closer to it, as if attracted to it somehow. I reach my multiple, and they shimmer blue as they dart this way and that, closer and closer. They are within touching distance of my multi tool. They make one final surge. I'm going to let them in. Close, bright blue, the color spread seeping up my arm. With a sudden surge, electrical reaches my brain, I pass out. Start, I find myself obsessed on a new piece of multi tool technology. Oh, 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 yes! Oh, very, very, very worth it. Very worth it. Okay, the problem is, is that I don't think I, I think it requires, uh, yeah, wiring looms. But I will go ahead and get it installed for now. But, and I will come across something later on. I need a hermetic uh, seal and carbon. There it is. So we will at least get those put in and I will come across, I guarantee you, I will come across something I can install and deinstall and get some wiring looms out of. So that's going to be great. That will be fantastic. Wow, what a fortune that was. I may stay for a little while longer, if there's things to do here. Unknown building, where's my ship at? The ship is that way, so I've been to that unknown building. All right, let's head back to the ship and we'll continue on our journey. Actually, let's go ahead and... No, I'm not gonna waste it. I'm not gonna waste navigation data when I really need to just... I can just do this. 
Up to ten words. Yay. And there's... That's what I was looking for. Okay. Because while we're running like this, I should be able to pick up some materials along the way. Like, hey, look. Oxygen. Excellent. And the plant's made of steel, apparently, because you can't walk around them. Really need some pugnium to do some repairs. But I don't have my gun yet. Well, how much does it require? Ah, uh, chromatic metal. Hmm. Carbon nanotubes. It is kind of worth it. What do you think? It's salt right in front of me. A lot of salt right in this area. That's really strange. <laughs> salt over there. Copper at 700. Could use copper a little closer by. Wow. Really? Copper 368. Okay, I guess that's going to be the place. Let's do that. And I'm going to start a fight. I know it's dangerous, but I need the pugnium. I need about 50 or 60 pugnium. Quite a bit of chromatic metal, so I'm going to try to take a little extra here. A few hundred of this ought to do, three or four hundred. So this should be able to provide that. This is not a huge deposit like the last one I was at, but it is a good deposit. There we go. That should do nicely. Okay. So yeah, we're going to start a little bit of a fight here. I want a couple extra chromatic left over so that I can either do repairs, installations, or basically create new antimatter. There we go. Looks like we're already reaching the 400 mark. That's nice. Good deposit then. Widen this out and we're going to collect it out real fast. All right, there we go. It'd be great if we can get a trader to drop next to us, huh? Get rid of some of the stuff in our inventory. But... All right, where's my ship? There it is. Let's head back. Oh, that's a lot of copper. That's all the carbon I've got left? Well, I'll be. Okay, so we're going to need more carbon. Let's go get some. Nope. There's plants in here someplace. There we go. Fortunately, this planet is really good for the carbon. Because when you find the plants, they give you a lot. Because there's no trees, so they give you extra for the plants that you do find. 
See? Look at that. 600 carbon already. That was quick. Much better. Okay, so should we should have enough now to build the gun. And we need how many three carbon nanotubes? Which we now have enough carbon to do that with. Okay. This, let's go ahead and do that while we're in here. Um, what happened there? There we go. Okay. All right. Okay, so we have our bolt caster now. How much ammunition we've got? Should be enough to get the job done. Okay. Trying to check out what we got in our inventory. Hmm, got quite a bit of oxygen. Let me just reduce that a little bit. Okay, that looks better. Okay. Let's go look for... This one right there. I hit the plant instead. Oh, we got two of them coming at us. That's one. Two. Okay. Where'd the other one go? Okay, how much pugnium do we end up with? 32 already. Okay. Okay, so this shouldn't take long. This should be the last one we do. Ah. Where'd it go? Got it, good. Okay, there we go. And you can't heal. There we go. Excellent. Oh, great. Got it. Okay, we're out of here. Okay. I think we should have enough pugnium. But at what price, indeed? Uh, where's my ship at? It should be to the right, I think. We should be getting our shield back here momentarily. So that was really risky. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, we gotta take it easy right now. They don't find us in the next three seconds, we should be okay. Okay, we're all right. We deactivated, we'll be okay. Let's just stand still for a minute. Don't wanna lose that. Okay, so we're good there. Uh, yeah, I might use it. What do we need to fix that? Ferrite. Okay, we're back to normal there. And we're gonna need a wiring loom for that upgrade. Okay, so we'll do that right now, and we'll also do that right now. Okay, so we'll get that later. So that was kind of stupid. My shield is back. Alright. Let's go to back to the multi-tool. And at our earliest convenience, we are going to go ahead and... There we go. That should help the damage potential on that in the future. We are going to have to fix ourselves. So what we need to do that with is we're gonna we, we can find some animals to eat. Be careful, we're gonna walk very carefully back. 
I don't care about that right now. Yep, see, there's hazardous plants there. I'm going to take it easy, because that was very, very careful. Very careful. We need to bring our health back up. All right. So we could use an animal or two here. Which I'm not finding. That was very close. Okay. Uh, yep. Nearly crapped in my cornflakes there. I need an animal. Like that. There we go. So this should get my health back. I don't know why that did that. Okay, I'm just going to keep going with it one more time just to play it safe. Health at maximum. Okay, good. So we can get rid of the Mordite. I might just hang on to that for now. So, we're near our starship, so let's see what we can repair. There's the Pugnium. All right. That's one down. And two down. So now the ship now has more spots available to it. Okay. Hopper, where are you? Uh, we should actually add some more. Yeah, just a little bit more. Okay. Alright, so that takes care of that. So that was uh, dangerous, and yet we were able to achieve what we needed there. Um, the Starship has some other spots I think we can update here. There we go. One... Should be just a couple. There it is. All right. Yep, we're good. I think so. We got everything repaired that required pugnium. And how much did we end up with? Okay, about fifty extra left over. Okay, we're good. And... Good. Well, that was exciting. So this will finish out the copper in my inventory. And we'll be basically ready to go. Alright. So what we're going to do, we're going to end the episode here. And what we're going to do in the next episode is... Um, basically take off from this place. I think we're pretty much done. I'm mean, not finding anything here. You know, so uh, while I'd like to find what I'm looking for, I am not finding what I'm looking for. So I think we're just going to go ahead and jet from this system. We're going to hyperspace out, see if I can find a dissident system in the next episode. So there we go. All right. I think we're in good shape. Yep. All right, there we go. How much uh, chromatic metal did we end up with? Full 300 and an extra 67. Excellent. Okay, excellent. Good, good, good. So I'm repaired except for that. I kind of need to get myself a wiring loom. Uh, and then we're going to work on finding more upgrades. And we'll go from there. So let's jump in and out. We'll save this here. And learned a lesson here, didn't we? Got to be very careful out there. It hurts. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like and hit that subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next episode. Take care.